friends, and welcome to your horoscope for October of 2020, where, uh, you know, I giggle a little bit this month, Capricorn, because, man, it seems like career-wise, you have just got, it's like, you know, manna from heaven, truly. I think in the career sector, you're able to really move along here. Venus is also going to move to the top of the chart. You've got a new moon in the 10th house. So career things really speak very well and with a lot more ease. And sometimes I think when the month is heavy in another area, it's like, let me dip into the ease so that I can almost give the other areas some time to resolve or for me to get a new strategy or perspective around it. And I definitely feel like that's what's going on in the home zone, the domestic zone for you this month, like things at home with the house, with the family, with some kind of structure like that in your life definitely look like it needs a little bit of attention. And I think it's needed some attention for a while, but now it looks like some things are coming to a head. Now, it doesn't mean that you have the full scale plan on how to handle it, but with Mars retrograde in your fourth house, you're building a different strategy or you're going back over something it looks like this month. As well, we have three moons this month, Mercury's going retrograde, Venus changes signs twice, and we have Pluto coming out of retrograde in your sign, which means that the whole council, Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto will now be out of retrograde and direct in your sign. So this gives us a little bit of forward propulsion, which is, I think at this point um, in the year, I think at this point in the Saturn transiting through Capricorn energy, you may really welcome some forward motion and movement. So... We'll talk about all of that, Capricorn, okay? But first and foremost, we've got the Eat and Greets, which will continue this month. And we've got Basil Farrington, Jessica Lignato, um, Julio Pellegrini, Sarah D. Haven, Melissa LaFara, Shane M. Nygaard, Shakira Taborn will be here, and, and, and many more. Check out the little list over here. And now, you guys, if you would like to watch the Eat and Greets completely ad-free, you can come and join me on my Patreon. Become a patron for five dollars a month and you get all of the eat and greets absolutely ad free now if you don't want to be a patron that is just fine you can still watch them here on youtube you can still listen to them on the podcast but there will just be ads just so you have an idea of what that looks like okay and i want to throw this out there as well people have said i have the youtube premium so the ads i don't have the ads anyways it's not bothering me just keep in mind with youtube red or youtube premium your creators are not always seeing the benefit of that revenue so you could kind of watch one channel and really like another, and the other channel could actually be getting that revenue. So I put a little explanation of that Capricorn too in the community tab if you'd like to learn a little bit more about how that works on this particular channel. Now this month as well, I'll be taking a field trip over with Astrology University where we will talk about the astrology of world events. That will be summit October 3rd and 4th. You can sign up, it's absolutely free. If you'd like to get the recordings of the talks afterwards, you can sign up for the all access pass. So all of that is gonna be available in the description box down below. So hop down there, sign up, click, link, Come connect with absolutely anything you'd like to because I'd just love to see you everywhere, okay? All right, Capricorn, let's get into what's going on this month. So right as we come into the month on the 1st, we've got a full moon happening at 9 degrees of Aries, which lights up your fourth house space. The ruling planet of this moon is Mars, is also retrograde in your fourth house space. Now the full moon says that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So this is where, in a very domestic zone kind of way, I'm like, okay, are you moving home? Are you going back home? Are you having to relook over something with the family? And I also keep in mind the dynamics of this particular moon is that that Mars retrograde is squaring Saturn. So is something happening in your domestic zone where you're like, upset about it. You're like, I don't even think so. I have had my focus on this for so long. How is this not panning out? You know, things like that. And the full moon in its capacity here is trying to shed light on it for you so that you can get a different strategy for how to do this area for yourself going forward. You know, are you going back in with your family to heal something, to talk about something, to look at how you do something? Truly, if you're just moving, maybe it's like, oh, I need to um, set the movers up at a different time or something like that. Whatever it is, this Aries energy is like, we need you to assert you. Capricorn, what's going to make your home life, what's going to make your domestic life 
blissful, feel like you are empowered in this particular area, but it doesn't mean you need to come in and bulldoze it down because with Mars retrograde, you maybe have to just be more assertive instead of aggressive here, okay? On the second, Venus is going to move into the energy of Virgo into your ninth house. And I, I, I have to giggle because I had this vision come through for you guys of like somebody. And if this is you, please let me know in the comment section down below. But somebody doing like a court case or something like that. It's an open enemy. You know that you have conflict with this person. But Venus moves into Virgo and you just have all of the details. It's like you get more details you didn't even realize were there. It's like Venus is literally magnetizing this area with details with what's priority what's the procedure and and keeping in mind too that because venus is a magnetizing energy and virgo does like to heal and make things healthy if you do have a court case or something like that going on venus is actually trying to help this area now your expression of that in this area if you don't take it to that critical low vibe where you're just super nitpicky of your training of the legal process of your faith of the things that you believe you know don't step into that area where only you're only looking for the details of things right you you pick it apart it's like analysis paralysis that actually stops you from being able to use this beautiful blessed expansion of venus visiting this particular area of your life instead use it as the activation to help you grow here okay on the fourth we see pluto coming out of retrograde and direct in your sign wooshka it's like Pluto has been tearing some things down in your structures, in your belief, in your belief of things in yourself. Pluto retrograde, I have no doubt, took you back, maybe even Capricorn, to situations you saw before in your life. And maybe you even thought you were done with them, but this gave you the opportunity to transform in some way. And now that Pluto is out of retrograde and you're actually living in the transformation, it's like those deep desires that you have for your life, the fears, the um, successes, the worries about things, they're all up here on the surface. And Pluto's like, you're transformed. You have the wisdom of how to walk through that now. So let's go, let's move forward. So truly Capricorn, at this point in the year, as you listen to this video, stop afterwards, close your eyes, ground down for a minute and look at, are you transformed? And you'll know because you're handling situations in your life in a way that you didn't handle them that way before. Maybe you're being called to really step up. Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto have been working on you. Like you have had the freaking bikini competition level coaching for like two and a half years. Are you evolved? Are you transformed, my beautiful friends? Pluto is going to help you see that and see how you can walk yourself out into this world in a really different way, okay? On the 13th, we've got Mercury, who's in the energy of Scorpio, now taking that retrograde at 12 degrees, lighting up the 11th house space for you. So you're going back over your social groupings. And Mercury in Scorpio... I'm telling you with this energy Capricorn, the thing I keep seeing for you is like, it's not just the domestic zone this month. It's in the friendships. It's in the social groupings. Where do you have to Mercury in Scorpio? Get deep, get honest, get to the fear, get out of the petty, go back over something and like detox this area of your life, right? Where have you been good to your friends? Where have your friends and social groupings been good to you? Where have you created a little chaos that maybe you need to handle that differently? Where has it been a time where maybe you've been like hermiting a little bit in this Mercury and Scorpio is going to walk you through the depths of this particular area of your life and say, no, we need the truth. Oh, the truth sets us free. The truth will set us free. We've got to transform in this area. And also, I think that Mercury and Scorpio in retrograde is flipping you around and giving you a fair amount of gratitude attitude for the friendships that have traveled with you for quite some time and how you've also gotten to be a friend as well. I just love that energy for you. Now on the 16th, we've got a new moon happening in the energy of Libra at 10 degrees, tip top of the chart, like I was talking about. So the new moon is where we plant our seeds of intention because we want to begin something new here. It's dark. We're planting at a time where we can't really see it. So trust your intuition here, Capricorn, with your business. What makes your business safe? 
What partnerships balance your business? What relationships are good for your business? You're planting in the dark, but I'm telling you, as we get to this Mercury retrograde on the 27th, sliding back into the energy of Libra, you're going to be looking very seriously at the connections, the safety, the security of the work you do so that you make sure you're relating and aligning with the right kind of relationships in your life to really help this career area. And even if it's not career, if it's the what you go out and do in the world area of your life, be very successful, feel a little bit balanced as well. And I'm telling you, I feel like in your career this month, Capricorn, I just have this sense of you're working on this domestic situation, you're working on your emotional foundation and career, you're like, okay, at least I get this area. This stuff is resolving, but I get it over here. You know, it's very Libran as we look at that energy in the career space. Now on the 22nd, we see the sun rise up into the energy of Scorpio as well. So this is again, um, a testament to that 11th house space and the sun coming here, um, I think brings light, heat, life, and vitality. So you're motivated. I think you're motivated to also lean into social groupings at this particular point when we get to the 22nd and we have this next four weeks. But it's, you know, the question I have in your social groupings for you, Capricorn, is have you been good to your social groupings? Have the social groupings that you've been a part of been good to you as well? Because Scorpio is an energy of the depth and the healing. If you've got to go back to a friend, to an association, to some kind of a alignment you have socially and kind of detox it or clean it up, please do so this month because literally the social energy that's available for you there not only gives you the support that you need at this time where I think really truly you need it, right? But also it helps this career area for you. The social things help the career as well. On the 24th, I wanted to give you this date because I think it's a lovely date for making some kind of commitment. But what we see is Venus, who's over in Virgo, trining Saturn, who's over in your sign. This is lovely, a nice Earth trine happening. But on this day, the decisions that you make, the commitments that you make on this day, especially anything, you can make a commitment this day that is legally binding. And it is good. There is a long-term success. There's long-term um, foundation here. So it's a nice day to make a long-lasting commitment. So if you're looking for important dates to do that, to get married, to, you know, da, 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 this is a good day for you. As we get to the 27th, that Mercury retrograde slides back into the energy of Libra. So now again, you're going to look at the balance of relationships around your career, around who we know you as, around what you offer out into the world. Are you in correct, honest alignment for this area of your life? And as we close out this month, Capricorn, we've got the full moon happening in Taurus, fellow Earth energies right there in conjunction with Uranus. And this lights up the fifth house space. So this is wild I think because for you Capricorn this is like with that Uranian energy there of course the full moon says something needs to be ended acknowledged or adjusted but with this Uranian energy here it's like Koof, right it is just giving in this this bolt and this jolt of surprise or excitement or maybe even a little bit unexpected something really unexpected now is this something unexpected around the children is this something unexpected about what brings you joy is this something unexpected where it's like you know you're just at the grocery store since that's the only place we're allowed to go and you meet somebody and it feels like wham like love at first sight like oh my gosh is this a friendship or something social that you're just like wham and it turns into something else but whatever it is this is a jolt to the expression to a very expressive area of your house to joy to children to play and it can be quite quite unexpected so Please let me know in the comment sections down below what blows out for you from that full moon, even a day before that full moon on the 31st, all the way till we get to this next full moon happening in, what month are we in? <laughs> November. So please keep me posted because I would love to know what surprise shows up on your first door. Now we all have the surprise moon this month, but how it shows up for you, I'm interested in hearing that um, and how it's playing out for you, okay? All right, Capricorns, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. You have done good work in this last two and a half, three years. Remember that this council, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto in your sign has been changing you, but you are at the plate. 
you are at the plate right now it's time to let some things resolve clean up where you can and take some actions that maybe you've never taken before but you have the tools in your toolkit and in your heart to be able to do it this month so I look forward to connecting with you in the summit, in speaker series, in eat and greets on Patreon, and just all over Capricorns, okay? I love you guys. Bye.